Stan Store describes themselves as an all-in-one creator store and claims to replace multiple platforms you might be using. You can create a link in bio page, schedule paid one-on-one -on -one calls, build simple online courses, accept payments, automate DMs on Instagram, share lead magnets to build your email list, and more. All for the current price of $29 to $99 US dollars per month. On paper, it sounds like a steal, but how good are all of these features? And can they really compete with their replacements? That's exactly what we're going to explore in today's Stand Store review, so you can decide if the platform is right for you. By the way, if you're curious to check it out, you can visit my partner link witnwire.com slash standstore to start a free trial. Now let's log in so we can create a store. Your store is a one page website and the link to your store can be found on the top right here. And it will start with stand store. And then you can pick the slug at the end. As of the time of this recording, you can't actually use your own custom domain. So as an example, I couldn't use witnwire.com, but that could be something they release in the future. So I recommend checking out their site. Now on the right, you can see the preview of my storefront. And if I scroll down a bit, you can see below the social icons, I have an email opt-in. I have a link to a mini product. And then I have a link that happens to be to my primary website, but you can add external links as well. So we'll talk about all of those shortly. You can also see the option to change to a different starter theme. And from there, you can change just a couple basic colors and choose a font from this limited list. But I would say your ability to customize is pretty limited. You're also not able to create a full multi-page website the way you might think about if you're developing on WordPress or Squarespace. So this could be great for beginners, or it could also be great if you're just looking for a link in bio page. But if you are looking for that more full featured multi-page website, then Stan is likely not going to be the right solution. Next, let's add a paid digital product. If you head to my store, you'll see the option to add a new product. And I'll talk about more of these options coming up, but for now I'll start by adding what they call a digital product. So this is either going to be a paid file that they can download or a link to something that they might access online, like a Canva template or a Google sheets budget. So let's click add digital product. And the first page, which is called thumbnail refers to how this appears on your storefront. So here's a preview on the right. If you want it to be more subtle, you can just do a button, but since maybe this is a primary product that I want to sell to my audience, I'll stick with call out and I can add a different image on the left and change the title, subtitle and button text if useful. I'd say one personal tip I would share is that I would change the button text to learn more because if we click next, that button actually goes to what's called a checkout page. In Stan, they don't have what's called a sales page and a sales page traditionally has the information about a product or service and then links to a second page, a checkout page, which asks the user for their info and their payment method to complete the purchase. You do have what is called the description body area. So if you wanted to have a bit more info before the checkout area, you could certainly do so, but it is noteworthy that compared to a more robust website platform or course creation platform, this is something slightly different and more paired back about Stan. Now what I'm going to do is show you a quick preview of the checkout page. So you can add a thumbnail image at the top. You can change the title here, and then you can add text to the description body. You can also extend this a bit by using the rich text editor to add things like headers or bullet points, or you can even add images like maybe a mock-up graphic, or if you're really feeling ambitious, you can also add a video. This is up to you. And at the bottom, you'll also decide what this title should say, if you prefer to change it and then what the button text should say on the bottom. And this would actually complete their purchase. And you can see the option to set your price point here. Optionally, you can choose to put it for sale at a discount. So that is up to you. Then you can decide what information should be collected if you want other fields beyond name and email. And at the bottom, this is where you actually upload the paid digital product that someone sees post purchase. The first option is to upload a PDF or other file from your computer. The second option is to redirect to a URL like a Canva template link or a Google sheet link. These are again, only available post purchase. So this product is something you would create externally and then sell via your stand store. Next, let's build an online course from the store page. Let's click add product and we'll select e-course. Just like before, you can first style the thumbnail that appears on your storefront. So you can choose the style, 
image and text and click next. From here, you can edit your checkout page, which again, Stan only has a checkout page, not a sales page plus checkout page combination. So if you wanted to extend the amount of info you share about this product, you would do so in the description body. Down below, you would again set the price. So maybe we'll set this as 100 US dollars, just as an example. And I'm gonna click next to move into the course builder. Unlike the digital product, which was an external file or link, in Stan, we now have the ability to actually create a course that is hosted online that your students can access. So at the top, you have what they call a homepage, and then you have modules, i.e. sections, with individual lessons. I'm first going to actually click preview to show you what this looks like. So this is what they call the homepage. It has an image and a little bit of text that welcomes students to the course. And then you can click into individual lessons in the sidebar. And this is how your students might move through the course, just like this. So I'm gonna click exit preview. And now I'm actually going to click add lesson to show you what the lesson builder looks like. At the top, you have the option to add a video, and then you can rename the lesson and add a little bit of supporting text. Below that, you also have the option to upload supporting material. For example, if you had a PDF workbook. So let me go ahead and add some demo info. You can see those updates in the preview window on the right, but let's go ahead and click publish to lock those in. And this does for some reason bring us back to the thumbnail tab. So I do have to go back to course and now I can see my new lesson here. So let's click into our lesson, click preview. And here is just a sample of what courses look like in Stan. You can also sell one-on-one -on -one calls. So on your storefront, you can click add product and choose a coaching call. The thumbnail tab and checkout page we've seen before. So I'm gonna skip ahead to availability. You'll first need to decide where you'll meet. So you can choose Google Meet, Zoom Meeting, or other, and you will need to have an account on that external platform. But these two do have native integrations with Stan. Then you'll decide your meeting logistics, including the time frame and when you are available. And then on the right, you'll see a preview of the checkout page, which shows that your buyer will choose a date and a time based on your availability. And then they will enter their name and email and any other fields you may have chosen before completing the purchase. Now, if you're curious in selling something like a pack of calls or something that is more of an ongoing service or a project, you might need to use a slightly different product type in a stand. So as one example, if I go back to my storefront, maybe what I do is add even something like a custom product, and then you can just go through the thumbnail and the checkout page and configure the options in the end. And then maybe in the confirmation email, you might give instructions on what comes next. So the simplest example might be that their package with you, let's say has been booked and that you'll follow up shortly with more info. And then you would just switch over to regular email to initiate your service. Next, let's create a free lead magnet to collect email addresses. On my store, you'll click add product and select collect emails. This thumbnail looks a bit different because it includes the name and email address. It doesn't go to a second checkout page because we don't need to collect any payments. So you can change the image as well as the title and subtitle text to more accurately show off the benefits of your free guide or free resource. And after someone submits their name and email address, on the next page, this is the file or link that they will receive. And the way that they receive this free resource is via a confirmation email. And you can actually edit that confirmation email here. So you don't need an external platform to collect the email address or to deliver the freebie. You can do that all right within Stan. In fact, you might also be wondering if Stan can replace your email marketing platform. The answer is maybe. And if you head over to the email flows tab, you'll see that you do have the option to build flows, another word for automations, and send email broadcasts, but only on the Creator Pro plan. For transparency, as of the time of this recording, Creator Pro is $99 US per month, while everything I've shown so far is available on the $29 per month plan. So I haven't tested this extensively. I want to be transparent about that, but you can create basic email sequences that send one or more emails after a triggered action. And one example they show here is a thank you note for a new client, or you can also follow up with instructions for a course buyer. Then under broadcasts, if this were unlocked, you'd have the option to send messages like 
email newsletters or sales promotions. So although I can't personally speak to the depth of those features, I can say that if you're willing to use perhaps a simpler tool and forego some of the bells and whistles of other email marketing platforms, then Stan could be a good fit and perhaps a good place to start. You can also build a free or paid community with Stan. You can head to add product and choose community. And I'll skip over to the community tab to show you a quick preview. Now this is a demo community. That's why you don't see anyone here, but I will say that there are just enough features to make this useful and you can test this out to see if it does what your specific community might need it to do. I personally happen to use circle as my own community and course creation platform. And you can find more about my favorite course creation platforms linked in the description. But I do think that if you just need the essentials, or if you're testing a new idea and getting started, then this could be a good option for your business. Long-term as your community grows, you might outgrow some of these features, but you do have a basic discussion feed, a place where you can add resources and the option for buyers to see the products that they have purchased and therefore have access to. I also want to talk about auto DM. This tool lets you set up automated replies for specific key phrases in your Instagram comments. So as an example, if I created an auto reply, I could say if somebody types in a certain phrase either on all of my posts, or I could choose just specific posts, then this is the either DM or the comment that I want to share. So you can decide to comment back, or you can skip that and just send them a DM directly. That gives you a bit of flexibility. And I'll just publish this as an example to show that you can create multiple replies for different keywords on different posts. You'll also be able to see some stats over time which transitions us nicely to talking about Stan's analytics. From this simple dashboard, I can see how many store visits I've had, my total revenue, and the number of leads or email addresses that I've captured over a set timeframe, which I can change at the top. And on the bottom, you can also see how many views a specific product checkout page has had compared to how many orders to give you an overall conversion rate. Although this is simple, I think this is much easier to learn than something like Google Analytics, which can take a bit of time. So I think this is a great tool for business owners to really see the essential data for your businesses. I also wanna mention external links. So you can share things like affiliate links or even links to an existing website if you've built one elsewhere by clicking add product and then just adding a URL. So if you promote another product or if you're using Stan more as a classic link in bio option for your socials and you've built a full website elsewhere, then this is just good to know about because it gives you the flexibility to add either a call out or a button to your Stan storefront without needing to build the entire product behind it. So I might click publish and they do want me to have a URL. So maybe this is just going to go to my website. And if I publish now, it'll allow me to add it to my storefront. And by the way, you can easily rearrange these anytime just by dragging and dropping. So what's the final verdict? I think Stan's biggest strength is its simplicity. It's easy to learn. You do not need to be tech savvy and you could have a store up and running really quickly, whether that includes a free lead magnet, a paid offer or a mix. Because of that, I think Stan could be a great fit maybe for new business owners who are just getting started and trying to launch as quickly and efficiently as possible, or even for established creators who are trying to get started with digital products. I also think Stan could be a great tool for a business that already has a website built separately. And now they're looking for a course creation platform to sell some basic digital products. So for you, Stan would become a supplemental piece of your tech stack rather than it being the sole all in one tool that you're using to build your business. That said, while it's simplicity will be its biggest selling point for some, it'll be a detriment or disadvantage to others. So as one example, if you're looking for a true all-in-one platform that can actually build a full website and do email marketing and create and sell digital products, I might look into tools like Kajabi or alternatives, which I'll link in the description because they're just going to be a little bit more full featured than Stan. I'd also say that while the course builder is great for mini courses, I don't know if I would use it for signature courses at a higher price point. I think that the course viewer is just a little bit simple. And on the admin side, you might find that other platforms have some more features that might help you elevate the overall experience, but you might also start with Stan and then grow into another platform in the future.
If you are curious to dive more into the strategy behind selling digital products, then I do have a free bonus training where you can learn exactly how to use mini products like templates, downloadables, or mini courses to add consistent scalable revenue to your business. You can visit witandwire.com slash mini masterclass to watch for free. And you'll also find a link in the description. If this video has been helpful for you, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Wit and Wire for more online business tutorials. And while you're here, here's another video I think you might enjoy.